Hi chaps, John here at Micro Aces. Welcome to Micro Aces Workshop. Did you see that image of the SE5A taking off at the beginning of this video? I want to talk to you about that and a number of other pieces of artwork that we've recently had commissioned for us. And uh, I also want to talk about something a little bit later on in the video um, that pertains to some uh, kits that we've got that we're going to be selling at a uh, pretty hefty discount. So if you're uh, interested in that, uh, either keep watching or, or fast forward a few minutes. Anyway, as I said, welcome to the workshop. As you can see, we have, if you've seen our videos before, we've moved. A little bit further back into the workshop um, I'm off my desk at the moment and I'm at the workbench and what I wanted to do was actually show you these pieces of artwork that we've had commissioned for us because they form part of our new boxed products so uh, what we've done is uh, a, a fantastic digital artist uh, uh, who specializes in aviation, uh, a chap by the name of Anastasios Polychronis. I hope I've said that right, Anastasios. Um, we have uh, we've spoken um, through the medium of email and Facebook, but we've uh, not spoken uh, before. I'm sure we will in the uh, in the future. But uh, I hope I've said your name correctly, uh, Anastasios. Um, but he's actually put together some uh, mighty fine images of, uh, of the aircraft that uh, we do as kits. And we have been able to use those uh, to produce some wonderful sleeves for, uh, for our kits. Now, the reason for us doing that um, is we are going to be retailing our products through a number of uh, specialist hobby shops. Uh, hopefully they'll, uh, the, the number will grow over the next few years. We can't just ship out a, a brown box to a retailer and expect them to put, put it on the shelves and uh, garner interest from their, uh, their customers. Um, you've got to have something a, a little more attractive than that uh, to grab the attention. And so that's what we did. And I think with, um, with Anastasios' help, we have been able to produce something uh, rather special, rather uh, eye-catching, and hopefully something that will uh, attract um, more into the Micro Oasis fold. So, um, let me take you through the, uh, the, the box itself, and we'll have a look at what's been done. And then we'll have a look at the contents of the box because that has changed as well. Um, and that has implications about the other thing that I mentioned, uh, which is uh, kits at a discount. So anyway, this is the box, the wonderful front cover with the dramatic um, image on. And we've got uh, others as well. I've just, just got a sample here. Just show you. So there we go. The, um, the Albatross D5, just uh, having taken a bit of a, a swipe at a, a Bristol fighter. Um, and do, we've got a, uh, a Fokker D7. Let's hope that, um, that he's actually seen the camel coming up behind him. Uh, but obviously he's, uh, he's quite concentrated on whatever's in front of him because he's got his machine guns blazing. Um, and we've even, we've even got a box for the fantastic Scrappy as well. And as Anastasios has, uh, has done some fantastic renditions, uh, making the, uh, the aircraft look uh, full scale as if uh, it really does exist as a, uh, a flyable, uh, full-scale aircraft which is uh, which is great so the box anyway the SC5A um, obviously we've got some identif identification markings on the on the box telling us uh, what's inside what uh, what model is inside we've got information such as 124th scale there and uh, sort of a repeat of information here I'll, 
I'll come on to the, uh, the sticker in a second. Um, at the top there, we have, let's get that the right around. There we go. We've got the specification of the, the kit itself. It's, <laughs> everything's reversed. I usually have it mirrored, but uh, not today, because obviously we've got a lot of text and it looks uh, a little incongruous if it's uh, all back to front. So anyway, there we've got our specification of the, uh, of the model itself. And then moving along, we've got some aspirational images. All of these have been designed by Anastasios. Um, and uh, yeah, so all the, all the other kits that are, uh, oh, some of the other kits that are uh, available uh, within the range, which is, um, if you've seen the reorganization of our website, it's the, uh, the Aero series. Um, and that represents the vast majority of the 124th scale aircraft that we do. So, and then on the back, still more information. We've got um, a rundown of the SE5, a little, little uh, sort of information about the SE5 aircraft itself. Um, we've got uh, a rundown of uh, the Micro Aces kits and, and what, they, what they mean, what they stand for. Um, we've got here uh, information about what's in the box itself. And on this side, um, we have everything that you need. Um, so tools, uh, the RC equipment that's required to fly it, and the skill level needed to actually build and fly the aircraft. So that's the, that's the box. We've got... This identifying sticker, which identifies which SE5 uh, is in the box, as uh, many of you will know, uh, we do a, a, a range of SE5s as we do with uh, all of our other kits as well. Most, the vast majority of them are having a minimum of uh, two liveries available. Um, so this one is the, uh, the post-war silver Royal Australian Air Force SE5. And on the, uh, the bottom of the label, we've got a barcode to help the retailers identify and sell the kit. And we've also got a QR code um, with a little um, YouTube symbol in the center. Uh, if you scan that with your smartphone, you should be whisked off to, uh, to YouTube and uh, watch a video of one of the Micro Aces SE5As flying so you can see how it performs. Um, which would be great in a, uh, a retail setting um, because people can have a look at uh, look at all of this before making a decision as to uh, which of our kits they want to purchase. Anyway, that's the that's the bo box itself. It's a sleeve which uh, slides off. A nice fit for the box. That took a little while to get right. And let's just open the box up. Pop it up here. I've only got the one camera on me today, so uh, there we go. The white box is causing all sorts of problems for the camera, but there we go. So let's flip that open. And so within the box here, we've got our foam insert with micro aces uh, carved into it. Uh, we've then got our sheet parts, and we'll come and open those and look at those in a second because there's some big changes there. Um, then we've got our wonderful manual. So that uh, just takes you through all of the uh, all of the, the build. There's also, um, the SE5A anyway, there's also a um, an online video that takes you through the build, which is very useful. The bits bag, which has your rigging, carbon fiber, control rods, tires, um, little pilot in, uh, etc. And then you've got some little um, little cavities here that uh, you've got your prop and adapter and you've got your little cordless motor gearbox that, uh, that drives the, the prop, powers the aircraft. There we go. So that's the, uh, the contents of the box. You've got this other foam insert that protects and we've also got some voided areas here so if you're ordering directly from us we can use these to put in things like glues um, 3d printed pilots and uh, and the like so uh, we can drop those in there let's just pop that down and let's have a look at the contents well 
The other thing that we wanted to do, apart from actually um, producing some, some beautiful looking uh, kits them, uh, themselves, so they look great on the shelves, is that we wanted to um, rationalise the parts that we produce as well, so we can speed up production, we can uh, reduce the amount of waste and reduce the amount of materials that we, we get through to produce each kit, which uh, from uh, from our point of view um, not only uh, helps us make uh, make the most of the raw materials that we have, um, but obviously it's a, a tiny little uh, help to uh, to the environment in decreasing the amount of uh, of waste that we have. Um, excuse the shifting lights, by the way. I've had to turn off the the overheads because they were causing all sorts of uh, problems for the camera. I don't know why they haven't done before, but it just uh, obviously the light and combination today. Uh, saw that happen. So anyway, so I've got all of the uh, the blinds open. So when the sun comes out, it gets brighter. Oh, I, as on, <laughs> I cued that quite well. Um, and when it goes in, um, it it uh, uh, dims again. I have got lights in front of me though, so hopefully that'll be a bit of a constant. Anyway, let's open the sheets because this is where we've been able to reduce the amount of uh, material that's used um, so what we've done rather than uh, put them onto or cut out sprues we've actually got uh, a single sheet now so for the, uh, there you can see the the fuselage um, that's on a sheet it's all been laser cut you can see there but um, yeah so the uh, the sheet uh, it reduces the it, or it increases the number of parts that we can create per sheet as well um, the same goes for the the plastics too so the vast majority of uh, the material is still surrounding and protecting the uh, the, the parts there um, and also on the uh, the two mil um, material as well the stuff that we use to produce the uh, the internal structure the airframe of the fuselage if you like and the uh, the ribs and the uh, in the wings so the um, the sticker sheet is still uh, as as is because it was always a, a sheet, and the wings are now rather than on a sprue, they're on a uh, on a sheet. Um, so uh, so there we go. That's the the bag parts exactly the same. So we've done this with all of the kits. Um, you'll notice some of the later kits, the albatross has been designed like that anyway. Um, because it was a move that we wanted to make some time ago um, and we've just gone through the uh, the entire range and uh, rejigged the parts so that we get a we get, get a more efficient way of working um, but the real the real uh, um, message is all of the all of the boxes so with the boxes themselves our entire range is catered for apart from at the moment our twin Percy um, kit but that's um, Anastasios is actually working on some artwork at the moment uh, for uh, for that kit um, so I will tell you about that when it uh, when it arrives so at the moment the only kit that comes in a, uh, a plain box uh, is the is the Percy and uh, so um, that's uh, that's that bit done but what the the other side of it the other thing that I was going to talk about was the um, the kits themselves now um, the, or the, the kits that we had prior to this the ones that were there we go I've got, a, I've got an example here so the ones that were on sprues like this um, more open um, we still have some of them um, so I'm going to put a list together in the next 24 to 48 hours um, and then I will send that list out um, with the, uh, the, the pricing um, and it will be a first come first serve but the, the, the discounts will be significant um, the, the, the kits themselves won't come in the, the, the nice boxes um, but they will come uh, packaged so that they, uh, they get to you in one piece um, so I'll get that list put together I will then disseminate the information through our newsletter. 
So if you haven't signed up for our newsletter just yet, then there is uh, there is either a link below, or if you go to our website and scroll down that that first page, the first page of our website, there is a button there for signing up to our newsletter. So if you if you click on that and put in your details, then we'll uh, get that list to you in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. First come, first serve. There are only a, uh, a small number of kits uh, available. And there are there are more of some than others. Um, there are none of some of our kits uh, because they've uh, they've all been sold. But um, we'll get that uh, we'll get that up and uh, and out just as soon as we can. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the the wrap up i guess that's the, the those are the two messages that i wanted to to get over to you today so we've got the the box covers and the subsequent uh discounted products because of the change in the way that we cut the kits out now so um i will leave you with that and thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, episode of the microaces news um, and I look forward to uh, making another program very soon. Thank you ever so much for watching. Bye-bye.